everyone. We're live at Epic Headquarters. I'm here with Jim, Pete, so. and Sid. So today we have a lot of things to cover, some really exciting things that you guys are going to love. But first, I just wanted to give you a reminder to jump over to the Epic store, um, epic.gm slash UT store, and pick yourself up some UT t-shirts. Yay. Yay. And we're going to be doing some more. Mm. Yay. Mm -hmm. So first of all, we're going to take a look at Captain Migraine's amazing Leah map, Leia. Leah yeah, so Leah. Leah is a. We've looked at it in the past, um, but we want kind of wanted to go over it again because it's had some changes recently. And from our perspective, it's actually been a really good example mm -hmm. of how we want this whole process to go with with community made content. Um, Neil took uh, Captain Migraine took a map from Two K Four and kind of rebuilt it inside or er, from UE Three or no. Was it 2K3? 2K4? It was I think 2K4. I think there were actually yeah. various iterations maybe over two different... Anyway, it was, it, was yeah. a, it was an, a pre-existing map, but he rebuilt it from scratch in, um, in UE4, which is more work than it sounds like. And I think as, as people online have seen, um, people always ask us like, oh, why don't you just remake every why map? Why don't you just port it? And yeah, why, why don't you just port, port every map over, over right? Um, and as, it as, like as he can now contest to, that's a lot more work than it, it seems like it would be. Um, anyway, so he he built the layout in BSP and uh, threw it in the forums and really got some good feedback. He was very open to changes and suggestions from people, um, went back and forth with a lot of people in the community in terms of um, they started gameplay iteration and really kind of he was posting every update in the forums and re re responding to everything. So anyway, it was, it was yeah, a really good experience. Yeah, he had a really nice iteration process with this. Yeah. And this was a really popular competitive map, I remember all the time. Yeah, and... Uh, what map do you want to play? Uh, <sighs> yeah, a lot of the, even even now in the new game, um, a lot of the more competitive guys are, are playing this map uh, above some of the epic maps, um, which just really kind of shows how good it is I in terms of gameplay and, and what can be done there. So anyway, um, he's made some changes lately, and we thought it was worth highlighting because of that. Because um, when we showed it last time, it was still kind of in the early, just block out geometry phases. And he's now moved on to start adding some actual static mesh geometry and some lighting and things. Um, so it's coming Which along. I suppose it's worth pointing out that he's creating all his own assets and stuff, too. Yeah, he it is. It looks amazing. <coughs> it looks it really great. Does. Um, it's really good. For, for a non professional designer slash artist. I don't know what, wha how he would classify himself. Yeah, he's making some really good progress. Jack of all trades. Um, so this is uh, this is an e the game actually in running in the editor. Um, I'm not actually running around in game. I'm just kind of floating around. Um, you can see if I turn on all the editor assets, you can y Yeah, because if you, it, it looks like a painting when you turn off the, yeah, the you assets. Yeah, can, you can select, you know, the individual pieces and move them around and stuff, but. Um, That's gorgeous. It's it's really coming together very very well, and this is not even his most recent update. Um, this is a, a little bit older uh, than his his most current work, uh, which I have a screenshot of, and I'll show in a minute. But just wanted to highlight uh, the fact that a yes, he's making all of his own assets. B he's really doing a good job of responding to the community, and he's even started doing some really kind of cool stuff in terms of the tools. Um, not in this version, but in the one that's in the forums now. Uh, he had some discussions with the competitive players on how they could improve gameplay. And so they made some of their own pickup assets and changed armor and really kind of changed the way armor worked in the whole game and used this map as a test bed to test that, which was great. Um, it really kind of showed what you can do within the engine. And then he also took some of these assets uh, and actually, instead of just making like a simple mesh of a you know light or a pole or whatever it was, he did these kind of more <coughs> complicated blueprint actors where you can go in and you know you can change the lighting, you can change the uh, the materials, you can do all sorts of tweaks and changes to it um, just within the blueprint itself. So he was he was actually able <coughs> to build usable, reusable kind of Lego pieces that you can put all over the map um, that automatically updates all the lighting and all the geometry and everything. Um, awesome. So it's, it's really cool. It, it, was, it was a really good system. And all of this ends up looking like it's very, very custom built um, when actually it's, it's just really nice Lego pieces that he's kind of assembled smartly. So yeah. it was a really good job. One thing I like about this is that it's kind of a clean style um, but still has you know plenty of detail in it. Um, obviously, there's, there's something to be said for you know still trying to keep things 
a little less busy overall maybe like there's a few things in there contrast wise that are standing out quite a lot um, yeah right we were looking at the map in, in this mode today which just shows blank surfaces so you can see kind of how the lighting reads mm -hmm. and it's it's really nice to see especially in areas like this um, you can you can see the geometry very very cleanly and easily and the map reads very very well just in terms of overall shape so I didn't mean yeah. to cut you off there, Sydney. No, it's fine. I was just going to basically say a few of those, like the, especially the panels that you just highlighted. If you go back to regular lit mode uh, real quick, you can see that the actual texture detail creates quite a lot of contrast in those yeah, assets. It does. So if you look at, say, like the entire scene here, there's you have kind of a hard time resting your eye on any particular thing. It's It's sort of going a little bit all over the place. So I feel like it could benefit a lot from just doing a slide material pass on it and kind of getting the contrast down on some of those assets just so you can actually read the bigger shapes as a whole more than one of the uh, one build. of the tips in we used to do uh, was to do a squint test and if you look at an image like this and squint um, like this uh, it, it tends to kind of just get noisy and you can't really see what's going on and then if you look at an image that's like this w and you squint those shapes really kind of pop and show out and mm -hmm. that's that's kind of the, the 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 message we're trying to say is that even even in the really really hectic moments of combat um, when things are going crazy you should still be able to see those those shapes and and kind of see your path through the level and, and even just also the floor texture is a good example of this as well um, the big kind of square tiles with you know dark contrasting grout lines make that really, really, really busy and hard to read. Um, yeah. So just tweaking some of that stuff a little bit would help greatly. Having, in general, having solid separation between what is floor and what is wall, especially in an environment that is as multi-leveled and tiered as this one is, adds a ton to readability, just being able to pick those apart really, really easily and quickly. <coughs> one of my kind of personal pet peeves is uh, also adding geometry or adding like changes in Z height for no reason. Um, and uh, a lot of times I wonder like, this is a very awkward little staircase right here. Like, does it actually need to be there? Or could that just be flat? Actually in that case, I don't know if it serves, I think it actually serves a purpose you know, though. If it serves a gameplay purpose, yes, you yeah. know, but it and then same thing here. Yeah. Like there is, there's a slight ramp there, which could be cool, but do you need it? So what you end up with <coughs> is one, two, three, four levels all connected by a jump pad, which really could yeah. just be two. I, I think know. in a lot of those cases mm -hmm. it's justified, but maybe the thing that is a little bit more buggy or just ends up feeling off is when you have, say, a staircase that ends in open air, basically. So for cases like that, yeah, it might make more sense in wall. Visual <laughs> visually to just, you know, retain the same ramp-like functionality, but visually just kind of go with a more solid yeah. piece look and not actually do stairs that just go into nowhere. Because you could totally retain the same functionality and shape and everything, but just make it look slightly different, and it would feel less awkward. And again, the 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 many stairs just add more visual noise there. Where if it was something just kind of a smoother, flatter surface, it might actually flow a little better visually as well. Yeah. So. I anyway. think also as far as like a lot of the little gameplay nooks and crannies and shapes and step heights and height variants and you know where you have high ground, where you versus where you don't. That's I think a lot of that just carried over from the old version too, and it's kind of the like, you know, proven thing of what people enjoyed playing and what worked out for a lot of like, you know, interesting battles around the armor pickups and stuff like that. So yep. I think that's part of the reason why some things are just the way they are in this case. <coughs> and then, like I said, this is a, a, a slightly older version than um, than where he is at right now, um, and I, I actually think this looks really good. But if I Oops, I just totally messed up the camera view there. You just made everybody no. dizzy. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we do have one more, one update I just wanted to show real oh quick. Oh, nice. That's his. Uh, 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 quit uh, stealing my thunder. Yeah, we'll, we'll get there, Pete. <laughs> this is, this is kind of where he's headed in terms of lighting now. So you can see, how do I pause that? Make that uh, don't do well, whatever don't you're doing. <laughs> don't go with slideshow. Uh, <laughs> there you go. Slideshow. It's not as pretty, but there you go. Uh, so you can see he's got a little bit more contrast in the lighting and some darker shadows in the in the corners and stuff, which which really I think <laughs> it helps. Um, are color colors are going a little crazy, but that's that's it's all workable. This yeah. is all work in progress, and overall I think he's just doing a fantastic job. Are we gonna play test this anytime awesome. soon? 
Possibly. That would be fun. If only Stacy would set up our Friday play test. Uh, Maybe we well, could do speaking that. of that, <laughs> we, s- we told everybody what if we had a good build that we would do it last week. But, of course, the build didn't yeah. go out until 1030, and I couldn't get Zach to stay until 11 a.m. or uh, 12 a.m. To, to set up the server. So we're going to try again this week. Cool. So hopefully this week we will definitely – try very hard to have our play test yep. and like i said this is there's there's a whole forum thread for this uh yeah this please jump there, in so and, and give grab your feedback. check the latest version give him your feedback uh everybody not everybody a lot of people are there participating and it's 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 i don't know it's going really well awesome yep so all right, now it's time for the Pete Show. Now Even though I tried to give it away, <laughs> I gave you a sneak preview. All right, I don't know so what we're going to show. Let me, <laughs> let me pull out my cheat sheet here. <laughs> um, and uh, I apologize in advance if I butcher any of the pronunciations of your screen names. but um, Oh, you know, Pete, they're pretty used to it from me. Okay. Because I've been doing it <laughs> for years. <All> right. <laughs> what you want to start out with is you did see a sneak peek of the flak, and I just wanted to give a shout out. To uh, Kaziohin, I believe, close to that vicinity. Um, he's made some amazing progress with the he's flat cannon. He's done a great job. And he's actually been uh, finished the low poly in the unwrap for the most part, to my understanding. And he's in the process of test baking the materials so that going through and processing and making sure that the detail of the high poly translates uh, great to the low poly. So kind of as a sneak surprise for him, to celebrate that accomplishment, he had sent me the high poly source file a while back and Perna, as we now know, is getting quite a bit of a key shot addiction. (laughs) Key shot is the (laughs) rendering program we'd use to do (coughs) prototyping. And so I turned over the- Yeah, you gotta say, yeah, I got a great key shot. (laughs) High poly. And so that's basically his high poly. All I did was uh, export it for Perna to do the key shot render. And so we use this just as kind of a prototyping device to see how it could look, how the materials could look in the engine. So this isn't in the engine yet, but this is his high poly. He's working on the low poly now, and uh, hopefully we'll achieve something very similar to this for the material test. So I love congrats the, to him. The oil and the dirt and the, the grime oil, on there. It's the mining machine, you know? There's the, new, there's the new Leandri logo that we're, we're playing with. The flax smiley, everything's the f- there, man. The flax smiley came from somebody on the forum, but I'm oh really, really sorry gosh. that uh, I'll look it up and I'll post yeah, it could, in the thread. Yeah, we could do it next week. I'm very sorry. I missed you on the shout-out list. That's a little bit more evil this time, right? <laughs> yeah. So <laughs> kind of like should, it. As it should be. <laughs> <laughs> um, and again, we talked about doing custom weapon skins, variations, and Perna always has to do something kind of murdered out. So For Rick, because <laughs> Rick likes dark and evil. Yeah, Me dark too. and evil. I like dark and evil. I'm all about it. People so say I'm dark and evil. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's true. <laughs> Can be. Sure. <laughs> um, and then here is a surprise for somebody else that we know and love. <laughs> oh, that's awesome! If you ever so check Stacy's profile, <laughs> you will see she has pink flack everywhere. We have yes. the pink flack for Stacy. Gorgeous. Um, very, very chunky and still very dangerous looking. Just like me. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey. All right. So that Beautiful. is the flack cannon. Actually, smiley, smiley came from a very you. People oh, on the are saying. Okay. Awesome. Yeah. Who? A bury you. Oh, okay. Bury you. Yep. you. Bury you. All right. Well, that, that brings up a good segue because that's who I was going to yeah. talk about next. Um, his uh, concept, or actually he started a lightning gun that was really, really amazing on the forums. I thought was great. We don't have any renders of that um, in the stream today, but seek it out on the forums. It's one of the, the top posts in there. He's doing an amazing job and has gotten amazing feedback from the community, and he's continued to make changes. He uh, recently got a little paint over from Gooba. Um, looks amazing. <laughs> and so uh, that's really cool stuff. And I hope that he finishes that, whether we do a lightning gun or not, or whether it becomes an L- official LG weapon. Confirmed. Don't open that can of worms. <laughs> yeah, don't open don't it. Know. <laughs> we don't know yet. We haven't made a decision. But if not, you can have both. the don't community worry. will probably do something really, really cool with it. And I just really hope, regardless, he finishes that weapon because it's looking really, really cool. The thing that I wanted to talk about and show, um, and this was another uh, high poly model that I got from directly from Abru and gave it to Perna to feed his key shot fix, was <laughs> the sniper. 
<laughs> so basically, Gooba posted a, a sniper concept or a series of sniper concepts yes. that were very, very streamlined, and they were kind of polarizing. People either loved them very or controversial. Yeah, hated them just because it's such a departure. But I enjoyed it a lot, and I think it's just great for us to explore those kind of designs. Mm -hmm. So originally, we just had 2D uh, concepts from Gooba. And I just made an offhanded casual comment, hey, I really think that's neat, but we'd have to test it in 3D, see how it would translate. So the very next day, he had a high poly worked up and was uh, posting on the forums, amazing modeling, super, super fast. And so um, I snagged the, the file from him and uh, made a couple twi minor, minor tweaks uh, per Pernos request and kicked over him to do some key shot renders. So I just thought it'd be fun to kind of share this and also as a show of appreciation for his hard work and uh, really just going to town with the modeling on both this and the, the lightning gun. So great work on that. So I posted just the, the concepts <coughs> on Facebook over the weekend. The amount of views just went went through the roof. Yeah. <laughs> and it's very iconic love it. and it Don't reads like great. It. Yeah. Love it. From yeah. an icon. Yeah. yeah. I think but anybody who would think that that doesn't look like a sniper rifle. I don't know. Like a lot of people really, really, really it like it's it. It's very, like we were saying before, it's very, very polarizing in that you either kind of love it or hate it. And yeah. um, I, I think that part of that is just sniper it's itself. Like we're so undecided, uh, you know, whether it's sniper or lightning gun. And mm -hmm. if we go with something that's more of a futuristic design, it doesn't have to necessarily yeah. be one or the other. And I think this is this is kind of a good middle ground that gets us there. But and to be yeah. fair, this isn't the official sniper rifle. Nothing's been decided on. We just mm -hmm. wanted to yeah. showcase this as a congratulations for his amazing work. And and he's freaking fast too. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that it's was amazing. like twelve hours later. So this, I love this shot right here. This is this is one of my favorites. Yeah, this is fantastic. I hadn't seen this one. This is <coughs> good stuff. So before I show the final thing, I wanted to give a couple more uh, shout outs to uh, <coughs> Title Blast. He did an amazing job on the Enforcer. He's been pretty slammed lately. And again, all these community people are doing this voluntarily. So um, huge, huge thanks to them. Um, he's pretty slammed, so I'm going to try and take that over and just finish um, the low poly in the process so that we can get that in the game ASAP. Also wanted to give a shout out to Sigmify, who's doing a rocket launcher version. It's coming nice. along really great. He's already doing tests. Uh, in engine, so I just wanted to thank all the people in the weapons uh, forum, sub forum, modeling cool stuff, and of course all the community people um, commenting, giving feedback, doing paint overs. Yeah, I've never awesome failed. If I if I show a picture of a weapon or a level that's being done, it's people just go crazy. Yeah, so. it's funny because when, when we first started with the with the whole process, we get into these huge heated deb debates over whether you know, jump should be 16 units or 17 units, right? <laughs> it was like these totally in-depth things. And I didn't didn't necessarily expect that from the art forums, probably misguided, but I think they're just as heated, if not more, in terms of, you know, this little piece of the gun should be moved up 12 <laughs> units so that it works like I expected Total passion. to. And it's awesome. Poor, poor Pete has to sort through all that and filter it and figure no, out what's going on. No, I, I love it. It's been a blast. It's been a lot of fun. And, and I think each weapon that <coughs> I contribute to and, and also as we get more community involvement and we get some of their weapons in the game, once we get uh, the flat cannon and the forcer, which are 100% community made, um, and yeah. then I get the which shock rifle in. That's so awesome. Um, and then we enable all the customization with the skins and the attachments. And we get people that have alt weapons that are in the um, marketplace that aren't yeah. part of the core game. But people say, see that, hey, if I model this really, really cool weapon and a lot of people like it, it's still going to go in the game. It'll just be in the marketplace. It'll be something that uh, ultimately the marketplace will decide for a lot of these things mm -hmm. because of how many people download it, how many people actually like it and want to play with it. Yeah, we're hoping to have a good baseline that, that makes everybody happy, but yeah, the, the option will always be there to customize actually. when you want to, right? To, to, to do the things that, that, that you think are the best for your own gun, so that'll be to express yourself. Yeah, it'll be fun. And then I think people realize that they'll have a lot of flexibility even after the weapons are finished. Mm -hmm. right. I'm yeah. sure they'll still be just as passionate about their <laughs> contributions during the development, but nothing is ever final. Wouldn't it's have it any constantly other way. evolved. 
So, so it looks like you're reaching over there to show I'm us something else. I'm reaching over here. The final thing, what I've been crunching on and spending some late nights, Woo! is trying to get, get the that. shock rifle finished. So this is actually an engine. This is a little poly processed. Um, this is still a work in progress. This, these materials are maybe a half a day um, that we've spent on it. Um, and I gave this to Perna to set up a little <laughs> render in the editor. Looks you beautiful. went a little bloom crazy on there. I was going to say, JJ the added lens flare. <laughs> JJ Abrams, I like it. <laughs> it looks, still uh. looks cool. Um, so at this stage, I'll, I'll look at it and see if I have any processing errors. If anything jumps out that I need to tweak, refine. Working on technical things with the effects artists, getting materials for all the energy tubes and uh, start breaking stuff out for animation tests. Um, all the the, yeah. the real fun <coughs> starts now. Shock, so. I, shock is really coming together, not only the model, uh, not only the materials, we have new sounds that are going in for it from Max Carnage in the forums. Um, we have new effects that are going in for it. I mean, if they're not already in, we were just hooking them up this week. So you should have an all new shock rifle, which will be kind of the okay. first weapon that we've done from top to bottom uh, for the game. Yeah. And uh, hopefully that'll be in within the oh next week or two. Oh, that looks amazing. That's yeah. really, really, really beautiful. Really came together well. And experimenting also with material skins and attachments and, and all that fun stuff to see how customizable we can get these things. And so still a lot of work to be done, but it's, it's coming together. I wanted to show the progress. Also, in the forum thread, I'll show uh, a couple more in-engine screenshots. And I'll also show some of the more technical information. I didn't want to awesome. bore the non-technical stuff <laughs> on the stream, but I'll post, you know, poly counts, process oh. methods, unwraps, all my RTT render maps. All your 3D nerd stuff. All the 3D nerd stuff in my forum thread. <laughs> so check that out. I'll get that up sometime today. Excellent. Pete does love to nerd out on the forums. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I think they enjoy it, too. So you so? might have a little update for us about... Uh, oh, that was the one thing we didn't pull up was, do we have the launcher available? Uh, not the new one. Totally forgot. Okay, that's okay. Uh, so one of the things that we've been working on internally is we've been saying for a while now that we, we got the first uh, version of the, kind of the prototype version of the launcher up and running. Mm -hmm. um, so from there, you, know, you can find the forums, you can find the contributor list, you can do some of that stuff. Um, and that was just a, a very, very quick prototype that we threw together and um, just to kind of see what we could do within that little tiny box space. And um, The prototype that you work very hard on. It, it, <laughs> it, it, it turned out okay, uh, turned out but very nice. I am no artist. Uh, uh, Stacy helped me with some of it, Joe Wilcox helped me with some of it, so it wasn't just like you know, one person threw it together. But point being, um, we have finally kind of made the plunge and anybody who has uh, has access to the game will start seeing the new version of the launcher um, either today or tomorrow most likely um, and so that'll be live so check it out that's really um, nice. we actually got a graphic designer to look at it do some art for us so it, it looks a lot better than than the old temporary one did too um, and even that is even though it's going live in new format um, we have some more changes coming up that I think are even more exciting um, and that's kind of one of the projects we've been a little dark on lately. Um, so hopefully you'll see that in a couple weeks as that stuff comes mm -hmm. online too. But um, you as you really see Henrik's new logo, yeah, logo yeah, the new logos in there. I mean, er everything looks really good. And um, um, as as I mean, it's not like a huge secret. Uh, as we've alluded to, one of the things that will eventually be be part of that is we will have the the UT store linked there, oh. um, which is not the UT store where you can buy T-shirts but the actual store for the game. Um, so we're, we're not we quite there yet, but we're, we're getting very close. So you can start actually modifying um, the way you play and, and, and downloading your own custom content and sharing with your friends mm -hmm. and doing all that stuff. So hopefully uh, that will be online very, very soon. And then just in terms of project overall, um, Steve's not here to give his usual project update. So uh, we've got uh, Pete uh, has been working on various stuff, I including kind of that UT store, the way that we want to um, That's cook content. Yeah, yeah, cook, st nub. Yeah, <laughs> cook stuff uh, <laughs> so you can share it with your friends and go through that process. Um, and he's also been working on our new accessory system, um, which I 
think is maybe in the last build. I'm not sure. I think it is. If not, it's it's, it's probably in the GitHub build, so people may have may have seen that. Um, basically, what it is is we have taken the system where that we were using over the holidays, where when you're in the lead, uh, you get you know the the snowman head or the the mask or whatever it was. Which was awesome. Um, and we're kind of expanding that system so you can actually do scripted gameplay events so that it. You know, it plays a sound when you're wearing the hat and y and you get a kill. <laughs> We're or still trying yeah. to figure uh, out also what the <laughs> kind of <laughs> you know rules some, something and happens where <laughs> you get on a killing low spree low and your head bursts into flames, right? Like th there's all kinds of stuff that we can do do with that system. Um, <coughs> so uh, again, go if you have ideas of, of kind of events you'd like to see your player model react to in game. Uh, throw a forum, throw it up, and 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 and, and we can start talking about it because uh, all of that stuff will very soon it will be possible. Um, so that's kind of what awesome. he's been working on. It's going to be really cool. And uh, Joe has been doing a lot of improvements on um, the hub system. So the old school server browser I think will soon be going away in this new and improved system, which is is a lot better and helps you find. Uh, kind of more customized match experiences. I, I think that'll be good. Yeah. And then just yeah. generally speaking, tons and tons of, of polish in all areas. I mean, like as you've already seen with with weapons, with sounds, with effects, Every time with, start the game up, there's with UI, there. with you know map polish. So everybody's just kind of rather than going off and doing all new things, um, we've kind of just gotten into a mode where we figure we should we better polish what's there. And I know that uh, a lot of people in the forums have kind of been reacting to the fact that they feel like we're doing too much in some areas and not enough in others. Yes. You know, like movement could use more polish. And yes, we're fully aware that it's at you know at eighty percent or whatever. Um, but the the reality is that if is if we want these other systems to come online so that they can actually play together and work together, we need to at least get those prototype too. So we've kind of got the base core of the game going, and now we're kind of starting to add the little pieces on and top. And we can always tweak it. Plus and, also and then as we get them back, we, we go I mean back and polish the other the stuff. The people that are actually working on certain components that need certain amounts of polish aren't also the same people that are working on other features, so therefore yeah. you can't just right. c throw the whole team into the same bucket and say, if you're not working on this, why are you working on this? Because yeah. that's yes. completely different people working on different things. Yeah. And we are a s very small team. We're very resource limited. So yeah. again, we, we say this every week, but the more help we can get from you guys, Anywhere you can hop in, whether it's programming, whether it's design, whether it's art, whether it's you know just talking in the forums, all of that stuff is helpful. So we're always glad to see you guys there. Yeah, I, I'm yeah, glad absolutely. you brought that up because that's that's one of the things that you know you know why are you doing this when you could be doing that yeah. and, and all the time it's like you know saying the same thing over. So I'm glad that you said something that you know we're not all working on the same thing. I certainly can't jump in and do any of the programming and. You can't jump in. Well, you could. No, I couldn't. You wouldn't. Program. <laughs> do you them. don't want to see me program. <laughs> so it would be bad. I so just yeah. want to see the pretty. Let's get more pretty in there. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody wants to see the pretty. So. Yeah, level visuals will be on soon. Hopefully, we'll get some polish on the HUD and the UI. We've got new weapons and effects and stuff. So the pretty's coming definitely. Um, and and I, and I think that's important, right? Because we we want to set a visual bar for what a character should be, for what a weapon should be, for what a mm -hmm. level should be. Because then it's really up to you guys to take that and run with it and do stuff that's even better than we could have created. And so they're eager too; they're wait ready to get their hands yep. on something that they can put into their own. And maps people have and been waiting for that for a lot longer than they've been waiting for us to adjust movement speed. So um, that kind of stuff will all will all happen in time. All We're right. getting very crunchy. We're working hard. Yep. Crunchy. Yep. Eating bad food. <laughs> 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 yeah, don't think that we're slacking. People have been here 12, 14 hour days, so yes. we have definitely been, including weekends, so yeah. it's been a good time. It has been. It's been fun. Lots of stuff comes together. All right, so I think that's about all we have for this week. Make sure you jump in tomorrow and watch the Unreal Engine stream, which I have no clue it's going to be on, but Chance will be here guiding you through the experience. So make sure you join us next week, and we'll see you soon. Bye, everyone. Thanks,